Hey guys, Icky back again with Dragon Blogger. Gonna talk and demonstrate a little bit about the 3D pen. You can make a lot of cool things with this and potentially end up saving yourself a lot of money. For example, the Lego job of the hut. My son has the Lego set with the palace. Cool, but then there's the Lego set with the ship that Jabba the Hutt has a little chain. The palace doesn't have the chain. The ship does. Maybe vice versa. I don't want to have to buy a whole other set just to give him a chain. I can make it from here. Save myself, what, 150 bucks or something? My daughter's My Little Pony Fluttershy doll doesn't have any accessories except for this uh, necklace but I can give her a bracelet or a purse. I don't have to buy another doll just for that. Save myself 25 bucks. This little Lego guy and me and myself have something in common. It's not the face. We're both bald. I'm not going to make myself a 3D uh, hair out of a 3D pen. I could. <laughs> Maybe I could. But, but I'm not going to. But I can make him some hair. Save myself 20 bucks or something. But you can see how this little guy cost me, I'm not too sure how much, but it's going to cost me a little bit. But I can make stuff for all those toys, save myself some ton of money in the long run. So we have to start out somewhere, right? So what we're going to start off with, of course, is plugging this guy in and start it up heating. Alright, so we plug it in, and then we can see that little red light, or amber light, and when it's hot enough, I believe this little light turns on letting me know, hey, it's hot enough. Although the instructions aren't the greatest, doesn't tell me exactly what that does, I'm assuming, so we got to let it heat up for a second. You going to sit here and wait with me? Nah. I'm not going to put you through that. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer so you guys can see when I start. The other thing that you're going to want to have, just to not mess up your table potentially, a little sheet of paper. That way you can do all of your drawings on here. And of course you're going to need little plastic filaments. So let me open this guy up. Alright, and let me bring you guys a little closer. So actually the little amber light tells us the pen is started and is in standby. So now what we're going to want to do is press the wire, hold the wire feed. That feeds the wire, although I don't have a wire in there right now. So what we're going to do first is take one of the filament cables or one of the filament ABS little spools. Sorry, I had it tangled already, and I just undid it. All right, and then we're going to feed it into this little hole right here. Feed it in right here. And then press the wire feed button, which is right here. All right, so then you're going to see this little light is red right now and then when it's ready it turns to blue that takes anywhere between half a minute and two minutes so we'll wait oh that was pretty quick alright says blue but it looks green to me alright so let's see right here you can hear that I'm sure
Okay, and this is right here is so that you can gauge how slow or how fast you want that wire to feed. Again, holding this and adjust this. That little that sound was the lowest. And there you can make it go as fast as you want to. And so right now I can feel it if I have it here. And this little thing does get hot. I just put my hands on it and it is pretty warm. And I don't know if you can hear that. I guess that's to let you know that it's heating or the sound that it makes when it's heating. It is barely noticeable. And right here, if you look closely, you can control how much, how hot this gets. Of course, you will need a very thin flathead screwdriver for it. I'll go ahead and close that up. Alright, so you do have to push it in and then hold this to have the filament go through so that it can begin preheating it. Alright, so the light turned off here. That could be their blue. <laughs> So let's just give it a try real quick. We'll start it off with the basic square. Everybody seems to be doing that one. That's coming out pretty quick. So let's take that one off. Lower that speed. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be flimsy, but this seems pretty cool. So <clears throat> now that I kind of know how that works, you know, you're going to mess up your first time. So let's try a block. I'm really surprised how strong that is and how quick that uh, solidified. So we'll make the other one here. And since we're going to join two now two separate pieces of plastic, we're going to want to hold it here so that it, it kind of builds up around. This is my first time, so forgive me for it being so quirky. We have the basic building block right there. And now let's just join everything up.
and I didn't make this part join up so well so let me just do that real quick fix that up another thing that a 3d pen is great for fixing things up so pretty durable little square there That's how strong it is, you know. It, it, it is actually pretty strong. Let's uh, let's move on and give this little guy some hair.